So today what I want to do is I want to talk about Tales 6 8. It was just released yesterday. And and so yeah, let's delve in and, and talk about this a little bit and let's start with kind of a general overview about Tales if you don't really know what it's about. So Tales stands for the Amnesic Incognito Live System. That's Tales. It's a Debian-based Linux distribution that's aimed at preserving privacy and hopefully your anonymity along with it. It connects to the internet via Tor. Tor is its main way of, of connection, and that is what tries to keep your, your identity a secret. Tor leaves no footprints, and it keeps no data or logs of system activity unless you turn that on. You can turn on persistence to do that. Tails began as a project in June of 2009. Today, they're pooling resources with the Tor project, and I think that occurred late in 2023. It's been a while since I've looked at Tor, as you could probably tell. Tail provides major releases about every two years because they're based on Debian. They follow the Debian model. Tails provides minor updates every 30 days or so. Usually it's right about 30 days. So who is Tails for anyway? Who uses it? Well, you might find activists using it, and that is to hide their identities and avoid censorship. And censorship is getting to be a big problem today, as many of us know. Journalists uh, use it to publish sensitive information, protect confidential sources, and they access the internet from unsafe locations. So it also would help domestic violence survivors escape from home surveillance. And of course, you and me, uh, whenever we need extra privacy or we just feel like we need a little protection from the censorship that's going on around us. What do you need to run it? Well, not much. Uh, Tails 6.8 requires a 64-bit Intel or AMD CPU. Sorry, ARM and PowerPC won't work. It needs 2 gigabyte of memory, which is a low, pretty low footprint, and an 8 gigabyte USB stick. It's not meant to be installed on your hard drive. It's meant to be pulled out and taken with you on a USB stick. That way you can use it whenever you need it. The installation of Tails to a virtual machine, yeah, that's possible, but they don't really recommend doing that. It will work on older Intel-based Macs, but not on M-series Macs, sorry. At least not yet. Maybe, yeah, who knows? Maybe it will at some point. But the new things that are, that are coming with 6.8 is there's a new file system repair uh, when unlocking your persistent storage. Because you're on a USB stick, they don't quite last as long as a uh, as an SSD or a hard disk would last. They wear out and need replaced occasionally. So they and I think in previous releases they added the ability to detect uh, partition corruption, and then in this release they've added the ability to repair that damage. Uh, they are using the Tor browser version 13.5.6 at present. Persistent storage uh, uses Lux 2 for encryption by default. The Windows system is Wayland and it uses GNOME 43.9 for the desktop environment. The same, I believe, as Debian uh, Bookworm, which is on which this is based. KeyPass has been upgraded to 2.74. Cleopatra is the certification manager and crypto GUI that uses 3.1.24. LibreOffice is 7.4, and then there is a metadata cleaner, which is used to uh, remove any kind of uh, identifying information from photos or videos, even other kinds of files that would track your geolocation, so metadata cleaner is used to clean out that header information, and that version is 2.4. What are some of the tips when using Tails and other bits of information that can help you get the most out of it? You you want to you want to clean your metadata from any files before sharing them with other people, uh, just to make sure that there's no fingerprints left in that file that would identify where you were. 
uh, you use Tails sessions only for one purpose at a time. So when yeah, just get in. Do if you're going to upload a file to the Tor Share, do that. Re restart your session. That way you're. You don't have to reboot, but you can just restart the tour session in order to get to the next uh, thing you want to do. That's the best way. To, that's the most common way of using it. Uh, let's put it that way. So your ISP will know that you're running tour and tails, but they can't see what sites you're visiting. Sites you visit knows that you're also using tour, of course, because they know you're coming from an exit node. And so you may run into some sites that, because you are coming from a Tor exit node, will block you. Uh, yeah, I have seen that with a number of them, and that list seems to be growing, which is just as well, because if sites are going to do that, I don't want to visit them anyway. Install tales from a computer that you trust. Don't don't go to you know your local library or, or somewhere like that and then create your Tor... <laughs> Your, your Tor USB. Make sure that when you download it, you also check it. There's a button right under the download that says, hey, verify the integrity of the file, where it'll it'll check the fingerprint of the file at, and compare it to the one it was created with to make sure it hasn't been tampered with. Then you could use a number of programs to install it on a USB. It comes as a USB image. Uh, I, I use Bolina Etcher. They recommend using the GNOME disk utility because in there there's the ability to write, copy a, a USB image off to a USB. You can also use Rufus and there's you can always resort to DD if you have to, right? You should always install Tails from a trusted operating system. Uh, so you may not want to use Windows for that or a Mac OS. So... Do not plug your ta Linux, they usually recommend, is the best way to do that. So do not plug your Tails USB stick uh, into another operating system that is running on another computer. In other words, you want to boot into the USB. You don't want to stick it in a Windows machine or in a Mac machine or even in a Linux machine that's running. So, yeah, make sure you're powered down first, put it in, and then boot into the USB uh, because, yeah, you could get it malware installed on it that way. So use your Tails USB stick only to run Tails. Don't put anything else on it. Don't store anything else on it. Yeah, don't don't repartition it or anything silly. I have it installed on a $150 computer uh, from uh, GM's uh, K-Tech. It is a, uh, it's an N... 97 uh, based machine which is it's a it's a it's a core it's a uh, 12th gen uh, intel cpu but doesn't have the uh, performance cores it just has four efficiency cores that's all it has it has 12 gig of memory and it uses uh it comes with this which is a which is a this is a, a, a sata ssd which is pretty slow, but the device also supports NVMe. This is a 2242 uh, length, and you have to use that size, otherwise you won't be able to screw it down. There's no, there's no option in it to go smaller or larger, unless you want to stick it out of the computer. But yeah, that would, which would look really weird. Maybe I can get it on camera. There it is. It's, it's pretty small. There's my tail stick in there. I'm using I'm using a wireless keyboard. Oh my god! Uh, so yeah, with this one, it has uh, uh, an HDMI port, a network port. It has three USB uh, ports, which are USB A. Those are three point. I think they're three point one. They're five gig per second. The network connection speed is one gig. And the HDMI is, I believe, version 2. So they say it'll do 4K, but I, nah. <laughs> no, no, it won't. <laughs> Not really. It does HDMI very well. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, it, it uh, they, 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 uh, the Tor developers and now <laughs> with the uh, Tails developers are, 
Tor has always been, you know, Tor, the Tor project has always been involved with Tails. They, for years, have supported the Tails project monetarily. So the marriage of the two makes sense, I mean, in, a, in, in, uh, in how they're fit together. So that's, that's good because they're really sharing uh, the, their development teams. That gives them additional, not only additional resources, but it allows them to pull in expertise when they need it from the appropriate group. So yeah, the, the Tails people are, are very knowledgeable about protecting privacy and, and trying to get security. Is Tails the most secure answer? No. Uh, there, there are, there are better ones, uh, if you will, there's better ways to, if you're really paranoid about your security there, there always was something better. So you could go to Hunix. Hunix separates the Tor connection from the client. And so that gives you the advantage of being able to, yeah, you can, you could have a number of clients that are going through a single Tor connection. The other one, of course, is Cubes, and Cubes is kind of the ultimate uh, in privacy and and security. Security from the standpoint of compartmentalizing your activities. So your banking, your personal, your work, your home uh, life is in different uh, buckets, if you will. And then you have a ultra-protected that's connected to nothing uh, type of area where you can store your passwords and your personal data, uh, things that you don't want ever to be able to escape your machine. That's all I had for today. Uh, go out and try it if you're interested in, in, in Tails. It's, it's easy to use. It's, a, it's the most... The reason why people use Tails is because it's portable. You, can, you just stick it on a USB and you take it with you. Uh, I don't want to rip it out. It's up and running, so <laughs> obviously. Yeah, so it's the most portable. You can take it with you. You can make copies of it. You can uh, you can rotate different ones for different purposes. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope to see you in the next video, and bye for now.